John Trevor Products Video Training Series. We're going to talk about one point calibration and why the most common uh, um, calibration error we get is out of range. So, uh, in this case, we're going to do a one point calibration, and most people will do a one point calibration. I just move that to the, and I have a neutral here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave the 10 uh, just because we're going to tell it it's 10. So, what happens most of the time we get with it, uh, I'm gonna press home, is we get it out of range. A lot of times we get that out of range because the system believes that it's one thing and you're trying to force it too high. Uh, the factory does have some default safeties uh, to help keep a thing, once a, once a uh, probe gets too far away or one and a half times what it thinks that it is, uh, it's starting to deteriorate it needs to be replaced so that's what they put that in there so sometimes if you get that you can you can calibrate it a little bit a little bit a little bit but you can't go far enough to get it to where you want it to be and that's because it's out of range so right now i'm going to show you what i mean by out of range we're going to go into the ph we're going to go to inputs go into the ph sensor uh, and before you maintenance or do this second like before raw value you can see what it says, raw value, negative 41. Uh, a pH sensor or an ORP sensor measure from uh, negative 19.99 to positive 19.99 millivolts. You can see it on the scale range on the brochures. So right now, this really is pretty close to neutral. It's not, not at all. If, you, if it thought that it was pretty close to neutral here or zero millivolts and you're really sitting in 10, um, you're not going to be able to calibrate it. Okay, that's, that's what you want to do. And when we need this raw value to be able to determine whether or not it is. Here's the last calibration. It, it thinks that it's 66 degrees. You can actually calibrate that. It's last calibration, which today uh, I did one earlier. Type sensor board universal. So we're going to go back. We're going to come back into pH. Uh, and what we want to do is a one point calibration. I don't always recommend it um, because you're not giving it slope. You're not, you're not telling it how fast it ramps up from neutral. Uh, remember the scale goes negative 99, 1999 to zero, and then back to positive 1999. Uh, so, you know, you do want to give it that scale or that ramp. So what we're going to do here is we're going to tell it it's 10. We're going to do a one point buffer right there or you could do a one point process if you leave it in here and you have your handheld meter uh, but I do recommend even if you just take a sample of the liquid I do recommend you removing it from the system isolate it take it out clean it uh, maybe a little HCL on the on the porous portion of the bulb just to make sure it's all clean make sure that we're starting from fresh okay we're gonna do a one point buffer we're gonna hit return disable the controls I don't want to feed uh, chemicals while I do this I'm just calibrating it uh, I know this one here is 10 so I'm going to make it say 10 I'm gonna hit check I'm gonna rinse it one more time make sure she's all rinsed I'm gonna put it in the 10 and it stabilizes a lot better when it's not in the line I'm gonna press the go And we are getting close. Gain 0.962. Um, if you were saying gain is 1.5 or greater, that's where you would notice that the factory defaults are taken in and go, I, you're gonna have to replace it. Now you can move it to get closer, but eventually you're gonna have to replace it. Call us, we can always have them in stock. Uh, I wouldn't recommend putting them on your shelf because they do have a shelf life. Uh, I wanna save the calibration results, rinse and put it back in the process. I'm just going to leave it there and say OK. I uh, think that's 10, 1002. Very nice. Go ahead and take it out of there. I'm going to put it back in the just city water. It's going to drop back down to about 8 as, as where that's at. So now that we can see that, that it is calibrated, we did a one-point buffer or a one-point process. So And that's why we do them.